Hi, my name is Anton Monson and I really really like 3D printing. And if you're somewhat like me, chances are that you also enjoy browsing around the internet late at night, maybe you should supposed to sleep, and chances are that you also browse around on 9gag and on Reddit, and maybe you come across these incredible cute animals. So you've probably seen them, it's the slots, they're amazing, I really really love them. So I have this friend who asked me, well Anton, you know about 3D printing, can't you do like a sloth hand and see how well it scratches? Because apparently everyone who reads and sees these sloth uh, memes, they really want to know how it feels to be scratched by a sloth hand because they have these cool claws that you can see here. So um, I, I went out on a quest to do that. So I started off by doing a 3D model and I, I do this with a free software and I mean if you want to learn it you can find some links down below but we'll skip through that. So there's a special design technique where you can add a lot of strings which um, after the print you can do some cool modifications to. So if you're technical and you like 3D printing, all you really need to do is just match the distance between the, um, the, the lines with the li layer height that you're gonna use on your printing. So in my case, that is 0.3 millimeters. So speaking of 3D printing, I think it's time that we go ahead and do that. So this is the BCN Sigma R17. You can check out the review that I did up in this corner somewhere if you wanna check that out. And as you can see, we're doing just yes, a time lapse, and uh, because this is not real speed. So I'm using a material called PLA, it's a biodegradable, non fossil fuel oil plastic. And it's super great for this kind of print because the, the PLA is so flexible at certain temperatures so that when we heat this up, you can see all of these cool strings that are being printed right now. As soon as we heat those up, we're gonna be able to form them like hair, so we're gonna be able to like comb the, um, the sloth hand, which is gonna be super fun. So with that said, I think we should head over to the post-processing, because this is the fun part. Alright, it's time for post-processing. When you do like this, you cut away the outer circle and you end up with a lot of strings that you can then take your hair dryer or a heat gun. Because when you're printing in PLA, it's actually so deformable. So if you want to, you can heat it up and you can then deform it and, and reshape it. So that's the point of these hair strings. <laughs> well, they could be a little bit more dense, but I think it proves the point. So um, this is the slot end, and here you have the different fingers that you just put on. If you need to, you can thread some filament through these slots and that will help you with uh, just keeping the nails in place. And I also designed a hole at the bottom because I know that some of you, you I mean, you really want to get that spot. So um, uh, I designed a hole for a standard 50mm rod. Uh, if you're like into cameras like me, you probably have a few spare ones. So here in the next step, we take a uh, hair dryer, basically, and all we really do is try to heat up the strings so we can reform them a little bit. Now it's a good idea to just put on the fingers before. Alright, so there you have it. It's pretty good, it could be a little bit more hairier, but I've uh, uploaded two versions to you, one which is this, one which is, is without hair, and you can download those down in the description. And with that said, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, write me down in the comments what you think I should make next, and of course have a great day. Don't forget to check out the Patreon page and subscribe, ring that bell button, and that's it, I promise, that's it. You can now go home, watch the next video, and I'll see you guys in that video. Oh, I think I got my new favorite tool. Oh, this is awesome.